presidential election. The runoff was Sunday. According to official figures, the incumbent president, Jair Bolsonaro, was narrowly defeated by his far left convicted criminal opponent, Lula da Silva. The margin of victory is less than 2%. Now, there are a lot of questions about this election, whether all the ballots were counted, for example, and Bolsonaro has not conceded. But questioning the election results in Brazil is no longer allowed there or even here. YouTube has just announced it will censor any, any posts that raise doubts about the vote total. In a statement, YouTube told us they have, quote, expanded our existing election integrity policy to prohibit content advancing false claims that widespread fraud, errors, or glitches occurred in the 2022 Brazil presidential election. Well, wait a second. The election is still ongoing. The incumbent is not conceded. How do you know the claims are, quote, false? Well, of course you don't. You are taking sides and using censorship to cement the results in place. This is propaganda. YouTube is interfering in a democratic election in a sovereign nation. How is that allowed? Well, there are also reports tonight that several Bolsonaro's supporters had been murdered in the streets. The footage is online. Obviously, all this is a major threat to democracy. But as of now, the Biden administration has not said a word about any of it. Why is that exactly? And why can't we know? Why can't an American citizen watch whatever he or she wants to? And why is YouTube trying to affect the outcome of a presidential election as supposed democracy? Someone should ask them. Well, the midterm elections are well.